Generic greetings and welcome to Dorm Romantic, today's beverage is a very nice cup of green tea, also, ow, extremely hot, nice, but, um, also, ow, either way, welcome to the game, this is billed as a roguelike mining game with tower defence elements, essentially, we have a dorm and we have to defend the dorm against all manner of beasties, as shown on the left and right here, and we'll do that by firing lasers, using shields and defences, and we have to mine down underneath said dorm to gather materials and smelt them and upgrade the dorm, this is the demo of the game, link in the description if you want to check it out yourself. I've seen the game played a couple of times, but I've not tried it until recently, but I've been very much enjoying it, so I thought I would bring this video to you to show you what it is like. Let's go to new game, and we'll give it a little bit of a go. I've not yet uh, won the game yet, so I don't expect great success, but the fun, as always, is in the uh, journey rather than the destination. So, we have different domes that we can select, or I guess select in the full game. This is just the laser dome, which we start with, so we'll select that one there. There's also the game mode, which is core, or migration. Start multiple, start an odyssey across multiple planets, retrieving powerful artifacts before being overrun. Uh, I'm going to go with the core one. I don't know if that's the uh, right choice. The roguelike element comes in, as far as I can tell, only with the upgrades, so when you die... I say when you die, like it's inevitability in the game. Uh, if you die in the game, you have to then, or can select, a upgrade. I've brought with me my shield generator. So the shield generator is uh, coming along with us. We've got the hard but doable and the brutal settled, which is the intended normal difficulty. We're going to go with hard but brutal because I've not yet completed the game on that one. So we will start off. So this is our dome and the background and indeed the colours are sort of random. Uh, this is the first time I've had like a green colour scheme on my guy. So this is the dome down the bottom. Bottom, as you can see, we are floating in the middle of that. We can go over to the machine on the right-hand side and then activate a laser, and that allows us to defend against all manner of beasties there. Uh, we don't need to do that just yet. And you can also upgrade as well, and there is a lot of upgrades which we'll see in but a moment. So a very snowy area, but the main thing we have to do is go underneath here and start mining. And oh, there's actually been some resources already, so I'm going to pick them up with my sort of grabber. I've got a jetpack and also the ability to winch things. You have to upgrade your... Um, you have to upgrade your jetpack and your mining tools and things like that, as well as the dome. And you can see I'm carrying one, two, three, four, five resources, I think. Five copper. And that then goes into the smelter and then allows us to spend that on upgrades. I'm going to go with a, hostil a hostility proximity meter, which is then added another thing on the left-hand side on the UI there that shows us the time till the next wave. And I actually like that the UI is introduced as you get the upgrades. I thought that's a quite smart decision. Anyway, we're going to go to battle here because we're about to get some enemies. And then there's one from the left hand side, so I'm going to spin the laser around and start firing it, and it is hitting the dome, and there we go, we managed to defend against that, and that should be it, so because that's the first wave, it is literally one enemy, so not really too much to worry about there, so let's go ahead and start mining, so you can see, we just need to collide with the terrain here, and then you basically start mining away, and we've now found some resources, so I'm just going to get this dug out and then we're gonna bring it back to the surface so collect all of those and start and drag them out anything more than four at this particular time it's it's gonna be problematic we really won't be able to uh, sort of carry them much further or faster than this although I might be able to give myself an upgrade uh, one of my upgrades is a speed carry strength or drill. I'm going to go with the drill strength for now because I think that would be a prudent option and I'm going to then work along here and start digging down. What I'm doing is leaving a gap of two between it so it means I always find something because it's either on uh, that side or the other isn't it so that makes uh, sense to me maybe it's not the way to do it but that's the way we are approaching it. Obviously keeping an eye on the left hand side to see that meter there and I'm seeing nothing else really down this hole so we're going to work our way back up. You can see the speed in which uh, the mine uh, has uh, worked there, so that's pretty good. What I'm going to do as well is just dig to the left, as sort of not as far as I can, but certainly to here. And then, oh, hang on, wait, I'm just gonna have to drop these. Um, yeah, no, no, please don't go down the hole. There we go. I'm, <laughs> I need to drop them because the enemies are coming and still are coming. So let's just uh, collect this and then we'll start hitting this guy. Now, eventually, what'll happen is the dome will start to crack as it takes damage, but I do have a shield generator which is going to help us out immensely. So it slowly charges up, and oh, wow, look at this. We've We've got uh, some nice resources here. We've got some, well, I was going to say copper, because in other other games it was actually a, like a, a well, a coppery colour. It was, yeah, that colour, but now it's like green, so it looks like the colour palette does change randomly here. But let's just go to this, and then we're going to go to upgrades. I'm going to go with a, 
Uh, health meter shows the dorm's health. Yeah, that's okay. And I'm also going to go with probably speed for my guy so we can go a little bit quicker here. And let's just continue mining. So. There's different resources that you can find. Uh, this is just one of them. I think there's three. Is there three resources? There might be some more. There might be more than three, but I've found uh, three so far. There's also random upgrades and artifacts, um, as it were, in uh, in this place as well. What I'm going to do is just connect these mine shafts. So if we need to head up, then we can do that. So that is fine. We're just going to go over here and then bring this to there and then we're just going to head back down and just start mining in here. Is that the right position? Uh, yeah, I'll do the job. So we're just going to head down and again see what we can find here and looks like the enemies are just about to turn up so I need to go back up. Uh, there are other upgrades as well you can get which will also help defend against the uh, the opponents but we'll see. So the spawning on the left there, that guy's gone and now the spawning on the right hand side so we have to spin this round. Sadly it does take a while as you can see to get this uh, laser to go to the other side and I managed to get it there and then we get a little like ding noise to say yep that's actually done you don't need to uh, you don't need to go any further there so we know that that's now ended. There's a couple of upgrades actually so we're gonna probably just dig down to this level here and then we'll just acknowledge that and then we're gonna get this which is some sort of big upgrade thing and let's drag it up and obviously because of its weight it uh, takes quite a while to to bring up but this will be an upgrade for the base so this is an upgrade for our dome we've got a stun laser or a monster repellent install a laser that stuns a monster automatically or we have another gadget of monster repellent it says install a small bubble onto the dome containing and repelling liquid activate to release the repellent uh, but it does use some resources. I'm going to go with the stun laser because that seems to be like a decent choice. So we've got a stun laser that's on the top there so hopefully that will uh, afford us some benefits. So let's just keep mining here um, and yet yeah, there we go. So uh, when it comes to mining, uh, oh yeah I'm going to have to drop one of those. I'm going to drop two of those in fact. When it comes to mining um, it's easier to dig stuff the further it is towards the surface, which makes sense, I guess. Um, I'm going to go with move speed. Oh, I can't go with move speed. Uh, I thought I could get move speed for the for the miner there. For, uh, sorry, for the for the laser, but apparently not. Let's just pick up these resources and just work down a little bit. I'm just keeping an eye on. Oh, there we go. There's some nice resources there. I'm going to pick up. Uh, do I pick up all those? No, I'm going to have to drop two of them. I don't have to drop two of them, but we'll drop two just so we get uh, enough speed to get back to here. And then speaking of speed, I want to go ahead and upgrade. And I'm going to go with, there's either power or move speed. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with actually power. Um, and then I'll go with move speed on the next time. So I'm just going to put the laser to the top dead center. And then what happens is you can see the other little laser is now firing. And that's stunning the opponent, which is good. Oh, we've got some flyers now. So I'm going to take out the flyers there. I thought that would be uh, a prudent choice. And... Oh, they're coming on the other side now. So yeah, we've got this other laser that's uh, going to do some stunning as well. And that's now complete. But if I go to upgrades, we can now work our way down. We've got shield upgrades. We've also got some stun lasers. So we've got like fire, endurance, damage, speed, uh, autonomy. Uh, that's pretty good. So stuff that would be useful in certain settings. Uh, naturally, we have to... Uh, we have to uh, continue upgrading as best we can here. This is four resources, which I'm probably going to be able to just get back. Um, I don't actually know what's in my inventory at this stage because I haven't unlocked the inventory, uh, the inventory upgrade. But I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm actually going to either. I think my main focus is on uh, probably carry strength. There we go. So I've got all of the base level upgrades for. Well, for the first level in uh, in this character, hang on, we need to just go over here. I don't really mind taking diagonals there. Eventually, this whole thing will be cleared out anyway. There's some more resources. That's nice. Oh, even more as well. And, oh, it's uh, it's coming good. Um, this has been a demo. Obviously, they're still um, tuning things and working on things, etc. I think there could be, from my limited playtime, which is about an hour and a half, there are potential issues when it comes to balancing and very RNG focused ones as well so there's times when it just felt like there's not much I could do uh, I was sort of screwed from the beginning I don't know if that's true well confirmation bias or what but it felt like hmm this doesn't feel right anyway we're gonna go with move speed just so we can move the laser around a bit more and we're gonna go with for the shield we've got electro jab or reflection now this here 
These are exclusive. You can see they're bounded by an orange box. So the Electro Jab is melee, uh, melee attackers will take a small amount of damage when hitting the shield and reflection incoming projectiles now have a s small chance to be reflected. Um, that seems pretty good. I think we're going to go with... Uh, do you want a stun laser actually? Uh, damage. Now deals small amounts of damage to targets. Yeah, I would like that, but I just don't have the... I don't have the necessaries in order to pick that up. So quickly heading down, we've got another wave coming very shortly, but I should have enough time to pick up these four resources and then drag them. The controls are quite simple, it's WS and D to move around. Holding spacebar will latch these on, pressing spacebar once will drop them. Uh, let's just go on to the laser here, you can probably tell the speed increase there, and let's just fire away and fire away. That stun laser is brilliant against those air targets, uh, so we've got more creatures coming from the right, and still more from the right, and that's now completed. I just sort of put that back roughly to the centre there, and we're going to continue on. In fact, what I'm going to do is go over to this side and then work our way here. Now, there are UI, UI upgrades you can get in order to tell you where stuff is, so you can mine away and find different things. I obviously haven't got those, and at this stage, don't really intend to get them, because uh, it does cost uh, a reasonable amount to do that. Um, and uh, To be fair, if we're, we're digging like we are, um, but we're digging down in shafts with a gap of two between them, we can see almost everything anyway, so, oh, this is a... This is a great uh, set here. I'm just going to bring this up and see what we can do with it. I may I go ahead and actually get that upgrade for... I don't want to upgrade to see what's in my inventory. It would probably be worth it. Um, yeah, we're going to go with... Actually, we've got health. Permanently increase the dome strength. That's not bad. Hardening. Hardens the dome. Take less damage from monster hits. That's pretty good. And then hardening too. We can go with all... We can go with all hardening. That's pretty good. And also inventory. And I can say I've got seven... Uh, I've got seven of the first resource, so I'm going to go with... Ooh, we can actually get Electro Jabber Reflection as well. Um, small chance to reflect stuff. I think Electro Jab is probably the, probably the one to go, so we now have Electro Jab on this thing. Let's head to the left-hand side and dig as far as we possibly can on the left. That is fine for now. I think it I think it opens out as we go further down. And Oh, we found another upgrade thing. This is good. Uh, let me grab those then and we'll head diagonally. You can see because of the upgrades we've got, it only takes one hit. There we go. To uh, remove these things, so I don't mind doing that. We'll probably just get one, one little second before combat. Yeah, so we've now got uh, a gadget. We've got uh, either a lift, installs a lift that automatically moves mined resources into the dome. That comes from the center. Or a blast mining. Hmm. Produces blast charges that can destroy surrounding blocks. Uses a resource. I'm going to go with the lift, actually. And back into combat and start firing away. <clears throat> And then this thing at the top here, which sadly we've got a couple of them. What they tend to do is they fire three shots and then they sort of phase out and then head elsewhere. So we have to be cautious of that. Um, if you fire the laser as well, it slows the rotation down. Oh, we've got the first we've got the first chink in the armor, the first crack in the glass. I don't know if you can see that there. So yeah, as shown on the bottom left, we've also got the health going down as well. So we'll have to be aware of that. Let's just continue working down. There's some resources which I'll pick up. And you can see it ex actually yeah, it does expand as we go down. Okay. Thought that was the case. Oh, this is pretty good. I wasn't planning on going any further. I was actually going to go to the uh, right hand side. And um... Oh wow, loads of resources. Can I gather all of these? I can. So I'm gathering these knowing that my character is going to be very slow. See the the traverse speed or whatever you want to call it is not very good but we do have this lift now that goes right down in the center so I can drag these albeit very slowly to the center and then I'm just going to press space and drop them all and then they'll slowly and I do stress slowly make their way up but it means we can basically mine stuff and continue on we don't need to worry about having to get it back to the center there so now it also means I can mine along here and then go up um, actually, speaking of that, I probably should go back to the base because we're about to get another wave. So we do need to be back here to 
to uh, fight that. So onto the laser, and this is spinning to the left hand side. Sometimes it's easy to follow where the stun laser is going uh, to know where stuff is, where it's spawning. So there we go. We've lost a shield, and I'm going to let the thing do that because I really want to take out them. Oh no, this has all gone wrong. They're going to despawn. Uh, that's now gone, and that's now gone, and this is still hitting. It's just using its head as a weapon, which is suboptimal. Uh, let's go to upgrade and we'll go to repair. We've got... Oh, we've got no resources to repair. So we can't repair anything, which is a shame. Um, this stuff's coming in, so that actually means I can go to upgrades and... Yeah. I can't get hardening three. Can't repair. Oh, no. I can't repair. No, that's fine. Um, permanently increases the health. Yeah, let's go for that. What I need really is time to uh, take this stuff out. I mean, one could argue that the speed increase would be good as well. But we'll see how we get on. So I'm just going to mine all three of these blocks. Assuming there's only the three. There might be a further one. No, there's not going to be a further one. That's fine. But we'll just pick up all of these. Obviously, character's not. I can't. Car character's really slow. Can't move. So we're going to have to just bring it over here. Um, and then we'll just sort of drop them all like that. And then we'll go back and pick these up. One, two, over to the center, drop them, and then what we're going to do is is work down. And as I work down, you can see that the the thing is already expanding as well. The uh, the lift, which is good. Oh, this is this is really nice. Oh, see, it gets even better. But we're still short of the resources to allow us to repair things, which is not ideal. And I also I'm very aware that I probably need to get some uh, more, say, lifting power or something or mining power. Anyway, I'm just going to drop all those. Oh, I think I've just, I think I've just bunged the shoot up. Oh, that's happened so many times. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get back to fighting here. And um, they're coming from the left hand side. One of them's down. Second one's down. Gonna have to spin to the other side. You can still see that the uh, resources are coming in from the lift there and we'll have to swing to the both sides and then I'll start to damage the other side of this thing which is all kinds of bad and is this going to be the last little wave here it is the last little wave so I'm going to go to upgrades and I want to get let's see I can't repair anything I'm going to go with probably hmm power increase the power of the laser yeah, I think that's probably the right thing to do. And then back down. And this time, again, we're digging those shafts like we've done previously. But I can really start to tell that our mining... Mining tool is... Struggling here. Oh, hang on. We finally got a resource we can use to repair Yes, but the time it takes to dig this out is not ideal, so I'm not gonna dig any further Here those I'm just gonna let go whoops There you go. They're finally working now. Uh, let's continue down here And I'll have to go and repair the dome the dome's on about half health further there. Okay, we'll just get back up. What I might do as well is widen this thing as I work my way up. Actually, I might... I don't know if it's a good decision or not. See, it doesn't take long at all to remove these. Just going to pick these two up, or at least I'll pick one of them up. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we'll go to upgrades and go for repair, and that's repaired a little bit of the dome over to battle and let's start fighting so this should be a bigger laser now oh it is a bigger laser oh we've also got speaking of bigger we've got a big monster on the left hand side here so it's slowly coming in let me just uh take out the flyers i'm not going to try and deal with the flyer on the left because by the time it uh sort of falls back up and moves we can uh we can get it and this is big monster so this is dead so we were very fortunate there that we managed to defeat that as we did the the advantage that we had is that obviously we've got a, a nice um, upgrade on the on the miner so I'm pretty happy with that the uh, 
disadvantage. Oh, look at that. So we can dig to the left hand side, can we? Uh, to the right hand side. Yes, we can. So we could go for another another way down. Oh, it's actually uh, been beneficial to us as well. Yeah, so it looks like you can expand quite a ways down to the right hand side. We're not going to go any further there because I have a feeling that we just need to get these resources back to the centre here. Um, and that will afford us some more upgrades as well. And also, I am very, very short on... Uh, mining speed and stuff so I'm just gonna let those go go back up to the top and see what can we get we can get more repair there we are now at full health which is good I've got drill strength and mining speed I've only got the money for one upgrade or I can increase the strength of the shields oh yeah the shields we might increase the strength of them so I'm gonna go with probably drill strength like that and then I'll go down and while I'm waiting for that stuff to come along I'm just gonna remove a lot of this just to remove it from the map so it allows us to fly a bit more freely you see but obviously we have to prioritize our time there we go or clearing this out and there's nothing that's gonna be of import around here and here's the upgrades coming in. I want to go with shield strength. So one. And two. Go to upgrade. Strength or recharge rate. We're going to go with strength. And fighting. And let's start firing. Oh, that lined up perfectly well. I was spinning it to the other side. Luckily, what the great thing about this stun laser is that... Uh, it will happily target the air, ta uh, the air units as well and stun it and stop it from doing its little three blasts because it fires three things and then goes to the other side. Um, I think on reflection, probably the... Maybe the repellent might be better. That repels back the shots. That might have been a better choice, but hey-ho. Right, let's just work our way down so we now have a better mining hammer. And one more. And then I'm going to go left gap of two and work our way up you can get like a, a radar and a scanner to determine where stuff is obviously you haven't got it at this stage not for the lack of trying to find one there we go then here and not finding anything I expect to find a Balrog at some point here. There we go, nothing. And I'm just going to dig along to our main central mining shaft. Where we can then go up. And that should be us for this little wave, this little mining session. Yep, so we're going to bring that up. I am actually, actually ran out of, well almost ran out of the base material. There's the enemies, so just in time to jump on the laser and fire. This one is on the left-hand side. I just managed to catch it there. That one's getting stunned, which is perfect, so we'll kill that. Kill that one. I'm not going to try and spin the the laser to the other side. I'm going to wait until it uh, <laughs> does that itself. There we go. And then the other one. It's very actually difficult on this... It's very difficult on this uh, colour scheme to see what's going on, actually. It's more difficult than it has any right to be. Um, okay, so we're going to work to the left here just so we can... Well, just see how far we can go. I think the objective, as I said, is to get to the core. But here's some nice resources here. Oh, brilliant! Oh, not so brilliant. There's only one came off that. In fact, we almost got nothing off those. I say nothing, we've got five things, I think. But it's uh, not ideal. But we'll bring it back. We'll use it for something. Um, I might actually not even bring it back. I might just dump it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to dump it in this chute and let it crack on, do its own thing. We'll head to here. Because this is totally... Something we haven't uh, dug out at this level. And that's yielded the same resources as the other side. So let's just go diagonal. 
And I wonder what to get now. I'm thinking speed. Jetpack speed, maybe. We don't have the option to repair anything again. What about shields? Upgrades. Let's go for shields. We can go for... Oh, the lift. The lift. We can upgrade the lift speed as well. Oh, also lifts you. The sh the oh, yeah, that's pretty good. The lift also now lifts you up. Pretty good. Recharge speed or strength. We've also got... We further increase how much the shield can absorb. I'm going to go with strength. Maybe? Oh, but I don't have the resource for it. But I can go with recharge speed. And then I can go for... Carry strength for our character. And then we'll jump on the gun. Mmm. Mmm. Let's have a sip of beverage. <laughs> um, loads of flyers here. It's all flyers this round so far. And it's not really... Too much of a problem. Although we have caused... We have received some damage, obviously. There we go, but that's all, uh... Yeah, but that's all gone now, all over with. Let's head down. We've got more carry strength now. Let's just get this. Oh, gets even better. Gets even better, better. Ah, uh, there we go. That's as far as it went. <laughs> okay. So, naturally, I'm just going to dig straight to the left-hand side. Straight through. And, uh... Dump this in the... In the ore chute, as it were. Yep, and literally let that crack on. And then we're going to dig down to the same level as we've done previously with the main mining chute. I'm going to do the same thing on these little side passages. And there's still a huge section on the left hand side that we have yet to explore. Sorry, on the right hand side. Well, and indeed on the left, but certainly on the right it's uh, clear and we have hit. Oh, jackpot. Abs dear diary jackpot. Right, let's see if we can get through here. Yeah, come on. <laughs> there's so much stuff we're carrying. Um, there's no way I'm carrying this manually up that chute. I'm just going to dump it. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to do... I'm going to dump it, but I need to head up because there's going to be some enemies shortly. I also feel like we should save up for maybe... Maybe some sort of... Uh, gun upgrade as well because we haven't had one in a while that fired quickly and then stopped to this side one's dead two's dead the other one is gonna yeah it's gonna phase out there we go there's that done other stuff's coming up uh, health wise we're still okay we're on just over halfway Let's continue down and to the right. And get all this mined out. I think this will afford us a... A double gun. One of the options you can get is... Get another laser on the... On the tower. On the dome. Which is really good. Let me just collect that last one there. The reason it's good is... Well, it's twice the laser, but... The... Point... At opposite sides from one another so it's all about making sure you've got very good coverage nothing there can we go up here no we can't go any further right we'll head down this side obviously this is a oh hang on is that an upgrade that is an upgrade right good let's bring that back with us I don't know what it's gonna be I imagine some sort of scanner but there's all sorts of things it could be no it's stuck there we go we're going to bring this uh, up ourselves. We're not going to use the transport. Well, we will utilise the transport to lighten the load somewhat. And let's see what benefits it will afford us. We've got blast mining or prospector meter. Meter that shows the distance to all the nearest resources. Also, so directions. So we could use blast mining. But I think the prospector meter is maybe the way to go. And on the left-hand side, it now shows you we've got like a little line next to the uh, green ore thing. And that shows the distance between uh, 
Yeah, the distance between stuff. Uh, we've got move speed too, or we've got double laser, but the double laser requires a few more resources. Oh, hang on, we're in combat again. Let me just uh, go ahead and go to battle, and we'll deal with that. So, oh, I totally, totally missed that, which is a shame. Um, going to deal with that, and then, oh, all the flies as well. And we've got a big spawnery thing on the, uh, on the right-hand side. And this thing is horrible because... Well, we didn't see it last time because we were so quick to destroy it. But what happens is it will deploy. You might actually see that. And essentially a, a, a giant tentacle will... Uh, there you go. You, you might have seen the tentacle. Um, the tentacle will open up and basically start drilling at the top of the dome. Which is all kinds of bad. Anyway, we have mined a fairly decent bit out. Let me go ahead and continue on the right hand side. We've got 18 or I think, I think it takes 20 of that material to allow us to... Is this repair stuff? It is. Um, yeah, I think it takes 20 to give us a double a double laser beam. So that's what we'll get at some point. And we're struggling with the mining now, so I think we do need another mining upgrade. But what I'm going to do is just mine along. Then mine up. Oh, actually... We can see on the left hand side that when we get closer this way it's telling us that we're getting closer to the ore. Is it down? Yes, it's further down. I can't really afford to go further down, not at this stage. The thing is that we're only finding this this one type of ore. This uh, the green ore, the green resource, so yeah. It's not looking ideal. It's not looking ideal. I think what I'll do is I'll bring this in here, I'll get ourselves some repair, but that's all I can buy, and instead I'm going to go with a double laser, and... Yeah, so now we've got, like, iron compass. Ah, so it's... Oh, so it's water. Oh, I was calling it iron, uh, the copper and such. It's water, cobalt, and iron. So that's a meter that, that then extends to a compass. Okay. So we've got the water meter. No. Hang on. I don't know what it is then. What resource that is. Water's the circle. Then you've got cobalt. Then you've got iron. Hmm. Uh, let's go with damage. And... Fire endurance for the for the stun laser and to battle and there we go. So we now have a laser that fires on both sides. And oh, hang on. So that there, darn it, is like a creature that slams into the side and then flies off, and it's horrible to deal with, and it causes loads of damage. Right back down to the mine. I think I may have mined myself into a bit of a pickle here because obviously we're working our way down now. But I'm still I've still only got the level still only got the level two miner. So we'll see. What I'm gonna do is follow up mining, using that thing on the left hand side to indicate where resources are. We should find it after this one. No. Uh, it's going to be in here then? Yeah. Okay. There might be more as well. There are more. Good. Oh, loads more. Definitely loads more. Uh, don't really have time to mine that out though. Need to get this back. I will head up. I'm gonna have to drop it and head up because <laughs> it takes quite a while to uh, bring these resources up. And then we'll have another defense. Quickly jump on that. Uh, and we've got a big monster on the left. 
And I think a big one on the... Oh, there was something on the right. But it's gone now. Are we going to get on? Oh, it is a big monster on the right. Ah. One of them has been destroyed already. That was relatively simple. Because of this cooldown times. And are we going to get this? Yes, we are. Wow, that was good. That was easy enough. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Dome Romantic. Um, like I said, not yet completed it. Not got all of the upgrades. And I do find that it can be very reliant on, well, look, RNG. You know, is, uh, <clears throat> uh, well, RNG just needs to be on your side for this one. But, I very much enjoy what I've played. And for a demo, it's certainly piqued my interest. And obviously the options are plenty when it comes to the full game, when it comes to different upgrades, different things we can find in the mines, different enemies, different domes, starting domes, and more of the roguelike slash legacy stuff as well, what you get to take over from uh, your previous runs. Either way, hope you have enjoyed what you have uh, seen here. If you want to check the game out yourself, then the link is in the description. It's a demo form at this stage and freely available as of the time of recording. So... There you are. Hope you have enjoyed it. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.